Hey strangers, it's Friday. Guess what tomorrow is? The anniversary of the day Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows came out? Well, yes, but that's not what I'm talking about. The anniversary of Mako Iwamatsu's death? Well, yeah, but oh, now, now I'm sad. What I mean is tomorrow's my birthday! Woohoo! That was fake excitement. I expect gifts. Not really. You don't know where I live. That'd be creepy. Now, you're probably not wondering, Taylor, did you just suggest the topic of obsession so you could just fangirl for an entire video? Why, yes. Yes, I did. First obsession, like the most recent, is just Tumblr in general. I have been on Tumblr stalking the tags of my current obsessions. Isn't that what Tumblr's for? Just fangirling all over the place? And I guess being on Tumblr has made me become a shipper. I don't write fan fiction or anything, and I can't draw worth a crap, so I can't do fan art. Makora, Bro, and Dalek. I ship it. I ship it like FedEx. An obsession that I had, but then I didn't have, but then I just got again. Avatar The Last Airbender, The Legend of Korra. This is my fangirl dance. I, I do that a lot. My family thinks it's weird. And then, oh, it's a cartoon. Well, yeah, it's not a cartoon, but it's not necessarily a kid's show. Might I remind you that the show ended in a murder-suicide. Whenever I'm sad or something, I go and I watch the episode, and the, uh, the episode, The Ember Island Players. That is, like, one of my all-time favorite episodes. Especially at four in the morning when I can't sleep, I go and I watch The Ember Island Players, and it's hilarious. And, don't say otherwise, Makora. Makora. Makora forever. And bro. We get four books, four Cora books. Things I can make entire videos of in the ATLA LOK fandom. The Ember Island Players and Mako's Eyebrows. I just want to be like, hey Bright, whose idea was it to give to give Mako like the best eyebrows in the history of eyebrows? I'll just give you a short reenactment of what happened when I heard Dante Bosco's voice at the end turning the tides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's basically my life. Obsession too. It's coming back on in a couple of months, and I'm so excited. And Amy's gonna die in like the fifth episode, sixth ep the sixth episode. And I feel like the new companion is going to irk me. I just, I feel it. I just, I feel it. I feel it in my heart. I miss Tenant. Obsession number three. The Leviathan Trilogy. Yeah, it's weird to fangirl so much over a book trilogy. I don't have the first one, by the way. I ship Dalek so hard. I ship it. I ship it across the... I ship it across all oceans, which is, I, I just, I ship it, I ship it across all waters, all seas, and all oceans, and all ponds, and lakes, and creeks. I know it's probably pronounced Dalek, but it, it, it looks like Dalek, so I'm just gonna call it Dalek. I've never really been all that into steampunk, but, steampunk, it's freaking amazing. If you have not read this trilogy, read it now. There's cross-dressing. And fabricated animals. And a flying whale. And only in this trilogy with the sentence, And then the prince and the midship woman kiss passionately on top of the floating whale in the sky. Um, and on a more serious note, before I go, I want to say that my thoughts and praise go out to um, all the people who were injured and the families of the victims from the um, Aurora, Colorado shooting that happened uh, early this morning, I think. Um, Oliver, I will see you tomorrow.